How's it going guys? It's Tactics HD here bringing an NHL 13 roster update video. This is you guys the roster update for the Stanley Cup playoffs. Usually EA doesn't do a roster update after the trade deadline, but I think with all the All-Stars coming back from injury like Sidney Crosby, Eric Carlson, etc., they had to do one. And not only do they uh, bring back the injured players, they also changed a whole bunch of players overalls, which is really good. This is something EA usually doesn't do, is actually yeah, doing some work and changing the game for the better. So a lot of guys have gone up in overall that deserved it. A lot of guys have gone down that also deserved that. As well, I think over half the goalies have actually had an overall change. Most haven't been increased, but some have been decreased. So I'm just going to show you guys the team overalls, and then I'll mention some of the main players' stats that changed. But if you guys want to look at all the players, I'll, I'll put a link to it. If I went through everybody, it would literally take 20 plus minutes. So I'm going to start off guys with Anaheim Ducks. I'm going to just go to this alf alphabetically. Anaheim Ducks is four stars throughout. Uh, Victor Fast is now an 82. He was a 79. As well, Saku Koivu is now a 79 overall. He was a 78. Eight. Next is Boston Bruins, 4, 4.5, four and, and 4.5. And Dougie Hamilton's now a 79. I believe he was a 76 before. As well, Tuka Rask has been upgraded, and so has the backup Boston goalie. I forget his name. Uh, Buffalo Sabres, 3.5, 3.5, 4.5. Ryan Miller's now actually down from a 92 overall to an 88 overall. Uh, I don't know why he was the highest rated goaltender going into the game, but I don't think he deserved to be, and now he is down after not too good of a year. As well, N. Roth's now up to an 80. I think he was a 78 or 79. As well, they've added Matt Hackett, who they got in the Palmville trade, as a third string goaltender. As well, um, Cody Hodgson is an 81, so I think he went up one or two overall. And Tyler Myers is an 85. I think Myers was an 86. Uh, next, guys, is Calgary Flames, 3.5, 4-4. Uh, I don't think any Flames t players have changed, but for goaltenders, Kiprasov is now an 84 overall, so he's gone, gone down, I think, 2 or 4 overall. He was an 86 or 88, I forget exactly. As well, guys, uh, Joey McDonald is now a 76, so he's gone up 5, and I think they added 3rd string goalie. Uh, Carolina Hurricanes, only change here is Yuri Tulusti going up to an 80 from a 79. Chicago Blackhawks, 4.5, 4.5, and 4. And half, and four. Uh, Chicago actually has Ramry, who went up from an 80 or 78 to an 80. As well, Patrick Kane's now an 87, so obviously he's been playing really well. Brandon Stodd's now a 79. Obviously, Calder uh, candidate really deserved that. Next guys is Colorado, uh, four stars throughout. Eric Johnson is now an 84 overall. He was an 85. No goaltender changes. Uh, Columbus Blue Jackets, four stars throughout with no forward changes. But Bobrovsky is now an 84, and obviously Bobrovsky's really earned it. Really, uh, you know, shine this year. He's actually a Vesna candidate. Uh, next is Dallas Stars, three star offense, three and a half star defense, four and a half star goaltending. It's actually the lowest offense in the NHL in EA at least, and uh, they have had no changes. Detroit Red Wings, 4.5, 4.5, and 4. And four. No, ch uh, no changes for adding Danny DeKaiser. He was a college free agent. Detroit got 74 overall, so not too bad of addition for them. Uh, Edmonton Oilers, 4 stars, 4.5 four stars, and 4 stars. Taylor Hall, now an 86, was an 85. Yakupov, now an 81, was a 79. Horkoff's down from an 81 or 82 to an 80. Ryan Smith's down to a 78. As well, uh, Dubnik's up from an 80 or 81 to an 82 now. Uh, Florida Panthers, 3.5, 4, 3.5. No goaltender changes. Hooper Doe's now an 81, though, as well. I think that's Actually, that's it for them, yeah. Um, LA Kings, 4, 4.5, four and, and 4.5. Quick actually got a downgrade. Wasn't expecting that. He's now an 88. Was a 90. And Bernier's up from an 80 to an 82. Uh, Minnesota Wild, 4.5, 4, 4.5. Four four Backstrom actually got a downgrade. Uh, I think he was an 86, but he's now an 85. As well, Jonas Broden's now a 78, as well as Charlie Coyle, now a 78. Uh, Montreal, 4.5 stars throughout. They've had the most changes, I think. No goalie changes, but I think they've had five players get upgrades. Lars Eller, an 82. Gallagher, an 81. Galchenyak, an 81. Emlin, an 82. And Cowboys, now a 77. Uh, National Predators, 3.5, 4, 4.5. No changes there. Uh, New Jersey Devils, 4 stars throughout. No changes. New York Islanders, 4, 4, and 3.5. And Only a couple changes here. One is Tavares, now an 88 overall. I really think he deserves that. He's an elite player. I think he was 85 or 86 before. Definitely better than that. As well, guys, Tim Thomas is now an 80, which is good. I, th I don't think uh, Tim Thomas should have been starting uh, the starting goaltender because I mean, he's not even really playing for them. New York Rangers, 4, 4.5, four and, and 4.5. And uh, they actually had a few players get increased. Derek Steffen, now an 84. Derek Broussard, now an 81. And Carl Hagelin, now an 80. As well as Zuccarella, now a 79. Um, Auto Centers, them, just like Montreal, kind of ironic, have had a whole bunch of players get upgraded. Uh, Warchiok, defenseman, is now a 75. Grab is now a 73. Pajo, now a 71. Uh, Zabinijad is now a 78, Silverberg is now a 78, Conacher is now a 79, so a lot of upgrades there. On uh, Philadelphia Flyers, uh, Matt Reed's now a 78, as well Chris Pronger is now down to an 82, he was an 85, as well Ghani is down from an 86 to an 82, as well guys, Brzgalov, who was like an 86, is now an 82 or 84, he's gotten downgraded. As well guys, I forgot to mention, Anderson's now an 85, so he's gone up 1 or 2 overall. Uh, Saint, or sorry, Phoenix Coyotes, 3.5, 4, 4, no changes there. Uh, Pittsburgh Penguins, 4.5 stars throughout. Penguins are getting back Crosby, obviously, and I think that's the only change for them. Uh, San Jose Sharks, 4, 4, and 4.5. Don't believe any changes for San Jose Sharks. 
Uh, next, guys, we have St. Louis Blues, four, four and a half, and four. Uh, Yaroslav of all Halak's actually gone down one or two overall. Elliot's gone up one or two. And um, they also, I think, had Jane Schwartz now a 78. Uh, next, guys, Tampa Bay Lightning, three and a half, four and a half, and three and a half stars. Uh, I don't think they've had too many major changes. Uh, Alexander Kaloran, I think you say his name, is now a 78. And Ben Bishop's gone up in overall. I think he's a 76 now. He was like a 72. Uh, Toronto Maple Leafs, four stars throughout. Uh, Nazim Kadri is now an 82 overall. He was an 81. Uh, Mike Koska is now a 74. Komarov is now a 74. I think also uh, Reimer and Scrivens have both been upgraded. Vancouver Canucks, four and a half stars throughout. Corey Schneider has gotten an upgrade. Uh, makes sense. I think he was an 83 or 85, but he's now an 87, which is good to see. And uh, uh, what's his name? David Booth is now an 80. He was like a mid 80, so he's gotten a pretty uh, significant downgrade. Washington Capitals, four and a half, four and a half, and four. Holpe's got an upgrade, as well as uh, Matthew Perrault, now a 77. And I believe that's it for Washington. Finally, Winnipeg, four, four and a half, four. No goalie changes. And Zach Redmond has gotten a small upgrade. Now it's 72 overall. So that's it, guys. If you want to see the whole entire list of everyone that's gotten uh, overall changes, you can see that in the link. Uh, this is pretty probably uh, pretty hard to handle, but I did my best. This is kind of all off of memory. I have like a couple notes down. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you stay tuned for NHL 13 videos and NHL 14 news. And thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day. Goodbye.